Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today I am going to show how to create sheet in Revit. After creating sheet, we will edit the footing layout plan with dimensions and other things. So first we will create sheet. Go to view and here is the new sheet option. From here also we can create sheet. Sheet, new sheet. So here click on this. Here the family will load family. We will go to metric families title block. Click on A0. A0 sheet is the biggest one. We will choose this one. Okay. It is loading. It has loaded. Okay. Click on okay. Now it has come. Now we can edit this uh, block. Double, double click on this. Now it is in edition mode. We can edit this. So here we will reduce the gap between the edge lines. Edge lines. So click on this. Move. From here to here, 20. Okay, it is not looking good. Better we will move it 15. 15. Okay. Now all the line we will move. We can do offset also. 15. Okay, click on this this and this now we will delete these lines delete delete ok now go to fillet 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 with these lines ok now this line also should be deleted now we will adjust this frame select all these things then go to move we will move it 15 ok now we will extend these lines click on this this line this this line to this Now we will move this one. In this position. Okay. Now we can change this uh, logo. We can put our logo. Insert. Go to image. Import this one. Now drag and drop to make it smaller okay little bit larger okay now we can insert another one A small logo this this drag and drop here ok now this one we can provide company address at this moment we will delete this one this line also delete better to move this up and this move it to down it is looking good now these are the uh, consultancy consultant names and uh, other names address we can edit this section 
we can put uh, colon colon address we will delete one address we'll keep single phone if we want to provide we can keep it we will not keep we'll delete only on certain address and email we will keep for this moment here we can write architect architect same way we will delete one address we will put colon this is like a block we are keeping the headings which will which which will be kept like block block and we will we can add text letter so that all the sheet will come like this and we will change the we will add the other text on is on this so now we can here we can put individual names and other things also or we can provide we can put company name company logo company address we can do it in different ways now it is individual project manager name consultant name architect names we can put company name also with logo same as like we have provided decode bd logo in this way so for now i am keeping like individual consultant architect and project manager okay adjusting this things so that it looks nice and now copy this section we will we can put note here copyright and note same like this one this is block double click in autocad now double click on this now we can select the portion then control c here copy this one here put we will make it little bit larger edit we can make duplicate 5 millimeter ok but 5 millimeter already is in available there so we will select that one 5 millimeter ok this is little bit larger 5 millimeter better 8 millimeter is more large now write copyright here delete backspace ok now copy again this one here we will put the copied note control v backspace ok now, now we will adjust this portion move this one little bit up select this move move here ok now this one also move up ok you can provide under score mark now this line will move here ok little bit more move up this one also move up ok now this looks good now this one we will copy again we can put some notes here we will write note hmm. 
for example this node I am copying here we can provide sheet wise defined nodes if we want for example I am showing here paste this node here if this if you if we want to put same node for all drawings then we can do it here otherwise we can keep this blank only we can keep note there downside which we can add letter different text for different sheets so now copy right and note has been changed now this one we can change color we will re duplicate this red click on this ok ok so this color text color can be changed from here we can change the uh, text type also text format also from there this schedule table we can move up ok the client name box we will make it separate move up ok this and this we will copy copy up now we will fill it to make it box this one with this this one with this now client name is in separate box project name in separate box here sheet name here is the date date is in global format if we change in the we can change this in, after loading this sheet into the project we can change the date then checked by all this in, in the global format so that if we change in one sheet it will be changed in all other sheets in a same project so now adjust these things see how is it is looking looking it's looking good okay load into project we can save this uh, family in another name double click on this go to save as family we can write a name a0 t code bd this is saved now load into family in next project we can also use that title block so that in next project we don't need to create again a new template we can use that title block directly now we will rename this shape in foundation or footing layout plan ok now here we can add view go to view go to view here the list of our views we can add this before this we will create a duplicate view this is foundation level we will create duplicate with detailing rename this foundation layout ok now go to sheet add view foundation layout add this view put here now this is looking big we will make it crop view so here it is showing the same same area we have to go to the plan that foundation layout plan from there we can change this crop view here click on the 
crop view now drag these lines to create a smaller region okay now go to sheet now see this has been this region has been shortened this we can move here this is bigger we can make it smaller we can or we can also hide this from edit edit type go to select this one go to edit type here we can unmark the tick this one view okay we can hide this line but we want to keep this line it looks good okay but this is bigger so we can reduce this length from in this way dragging it will not be selected click on that box so that their point you can get and that point you can drag and make it smaller now we can change the scale to make it bigger in the sheet now drag and drop select this region so that here will be one dot line and that line this line we will adjust this up to this and this we can drag and drop to keep it up just below the foundation layout plan so in this way we can create a sheet and here you see the name sheet name it is larger than the area we will reduce the this one double click on the sheet here sheet name we will reduce the size 8 millimeter adjust this thing okay move okay little bit make it smaller okay this one also make it smaller now move okay now load into project click on both overwrite the existing one now little bit adjusted still larger than the area again this one move little bit little bit small okay okay now it seems okay let's see now it seems okay in this way we can create sheet and in the next tutorial we will uh, adjust the dimensions in the footing layout plan till then allah hafiz press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update